Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today I have a big grin on my face, and a fine spirit is coming to me. It's the Jameson Rarus Vintage Reserve, uh, Vintage 2007. This is the year it was put into the bottle. Um, the bottles are long gone from the shelves, and uh, well, this bottle has been very expensive also, and I'm not sure whether it was available all over the world. And uh, this bottle is the ultimate expression of Jameson distilling expertise, so they call it. Um, it has a magnificent wooden box with applications with brass, polished brass on the side and here an inlay and here uh, brass as well. Oh, the inside is silky. It's not silk, it's probably Alcantara and brass as well with screws, polished screws in it. It's a magnetic fixation. And there is a small leaflet with a bottle. And in it they say <laughs> Jameson Rarest Vintage Reserve contains some of the oldest and rarest whiskies available for individual selection in the Jameson distillery. Some of the oldest always means there's no age statement on it. We do not say how old they are but uh, the bottle is rare, the bottle is very expensive and there will be one of the oldest in it but there might also be some younger in it for having a, a rounded aroma. So there has to be a balance between the fresh and young aromas and the old and mature aromas. Uh, for this 2007 vintage, the fortified wine casks used for maturing one of the pot still whiskies were pot pipes. You have to read very carefully. One of the pot still whiskies. So there are several different kind of pot still whiskies in this blend. And one of these pot still whiskies was matured in pot pipes. So brings a fruity aroma into the whisky. What the others were, we don't know. Um, pot pipes giving it a glorious fruit rich character. The combination of the oldest whiskies and the characterful aging process has delivered a supremely lavish taste experience, which brings with it depth, complexity, and intriguing berry fruit notes. Well, the port wine brings the fruit notes, the berry fruit notes. Uh, the old would bring oak. Yeah. This will be a very good one. Our most exclusive whiskey, Jameson Rarest Vintage Reserve, has been carefully and lovingly brought together and married by the four whiskey masters in the Jameson Distillery. Their collaboration has been a delicate forging of all their individual strength, expertise and craftsmanship, from selecting which casks and whiskies to blend to the finessing of the ultimate flavor profile. Uh, I met in 2011, I met Barry Crockett, one of these uh, master distillers on master blenders of Jameson in the old Middletown distillery in, in Cork in the, the south of the Republic of Ireland. And he was yeah, close to his retirement and he looked back uh, to, I think, 40 years of experience, I think. and. Uh, I prefer having a group, a panel of uh, knowledgeable people who create together a taste. A personal one uh, character experience, one individual is creating, always has the chance to hmm, work beside the market. And then the people say, ooh, that's not mine. But if you have a panel of four, 
and it works in in a particular um, distillery in Scotland. I don't know, uh, tell the name now because it's disturbing the Jameson experience here. Uh, they have a panel of five. So four or five is a good number for such a panel. So it's Barry Crockett, uh, Billy Letton, Leeton, I haven't met him, Brandon Monks, Master of Maturation, David Quinn, Master of Whiskey Science. Mm, I think I've met him, I'm not quite sure. And so on and so on. Mm, tasting characters, I will read that later on. So just. Have a sip before reading this. Uh, on this bottle, you see 2007 Vintage Reserve, and beside it's a number 5199. 46% um, ABV, and this is for an old whiskey quite a lot. And uh, I'm happy that they have given a few percentage points more to this whiskey than the standard 40% ABV. <clears throat> a very intense aroma, mild. The 46% ABV you aren't able to smell in the first. Well, there's some alcohol in the back, but it's it's well covered in the other aromas. Vanilla, caramel, and of course this fruity port wine character on top. Very good. Nosing, a real full-bodied aroma Initially sweet with ripe fruit notes of melon, bananas, and dark fleshy plums. I haven't had the plums. No. Bananas, probably. Grapes, of course. Resins, yes. Um, the unmistakable pot still spicy character combines to give hints of trickle, cinnamon, and licorice. I haven't had the pastel character present in the nose. Typically, the pastel character is spicy and intense, and you're able to taste it, uh, to taste it, and not to nose it. And the licorice, hmm, I haven't had that also. <laughs> A mouthful, oh. <laughs> mm. A strong, powerful pot still aroma, spiciness, fruitiness combines. Now the dark fruits are there. I do not dare to say plums, but berries, several berries, black ones, dark red ones, lavish. Taste, a mouthful of flavors, mellow sweetness and toasted wood are complemented by fruit richness characteristic of the pot cask. Mm -hmm. A touch of creamy dairy fudge. Mm, this caramel is there. And dark chocolate adds to the complexity. Dark chocolate are typically combined dark chocolate always with bitter aromas. And the bitterness is very faint, very far away. Mmm. Mmm. Sweetness. Lots of sweetness together with spiciness. And now in the back, 
white bitterness appears. The oak from the oldest whiskey of the Jameson distillery of the old Middleton, of the new Middleton distillery. There is the old Middleton distillery, which is a museum uh, where I had put the picture here. And uh, the new Middleton distillery lies behind this industrial complex. And this is uh, enhanced now with a second still house. And uh, the Jameson distillery has been in Dublin <laughs> until 19... 66 something this uh, and then in 1966 all the residing distilleries uh, joined together to build the new Middleton distillery in Cork in the south of Ireland and uh, in the small town of Middleton close to Cork so they had a cost advantage because the Irish whiskey uh, didn't sell well after the war the Scottish took over. Finish, a tantalizing long finish which covers the spectrum from the sweetness of fruit through the spices to the unmistakable note of barley. I can't find the barley. Barley for me is always the moisture, the damp rising from the mash tun if you're open it hot. This is barley taste for me. I can't figure out the barley in here. No. Perhaps the writer means something different. A very well made whiskey, an excellent, probably one of the best. Uh, I had one once, a Barry Crockett Legacy something, but still, this came close to this one. And the Old Middleton, very rare, also reached this whiskey, but this one is more luxurious, better. Lavish. Yeah. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please stay tuned, there's more to come. And feel free to share this video with your friends.